Hello friends, welcome back to Teal Stone Homestead. You guys know that I love sharing rabbit knowledge with you. And I also mentioned in one of my older videos that you are never done learning. That is including me. I just learned something new this morning about a new uh, herb that grows in my garden that I thought was a weed that is actually one of the most nutritious plants that you can give your rabbit. So let's go look at that because I really want to show you guys this. I didn't know this was a thing. This is called purslane and I've always thought that this was just a weed in my garden, but it is actually really, really good for both humans and animals. Apparently it has some of the highest omega-3 fatty acid content of like any vegetable or green out there. So I am very excited that I learned about this. I've always been pulling these as weeds because they just grow like crazy in my garden. And I feel like I am not gonna pull these by root anymore. I brought my scissors out here to actually just trim it because now I want to save it. Purslane has these really thick stems. They're basically succulents. Um, they feel like they are full of water. They're very like rubbery feeling. So like the leaves and the stems, hello Ari. They're all very rubbery. Apparently there is another plant called Spurge that looks very similar to purslane. I actually think that this may be Spurge. Um, it is not as like fleshy. The stems are a bit more woody and this is not good for eating. But purslane apparently is very, very good for eating. Look at that, you guys, it's like huge. And then I have another one right here and more over there. I'm excited. I'm gonna pick most of this for the rabbits. I'm actually gonna try it. Okay, moment of truth, because I've heard that it tastes a lot like uh, like spinach and arugula, kind of mixed. So, I'm gonna try it. That's actually really, really good. You guys, purslane. I was just talking to you guys on my garden tour about how my spinach always bolts like really fast and I never have enough for the season. But this is like a really good spinach substitute actually. Like I kind of want to stir fry with this. It's really good. I am never gonna pull this as a weed again. Like this is really good. I want to cook with it. <laughs> now I'm not so sure if I want to give all of it to the rabbits or not. <laughs> so you guys, I guess if you want to use purslane and you didn't know what it was, you're welcome. <laughs> I just learned about this too, so that is very exciting. Um, I am gonna clip some of this for the rabbits though because we constantly get this in the garden. Like it grows very, very quickly. And I imagine it grew, like it popped up so quickly because of all of the rain that we just got. So I'm gonna cut this. Um, I'm not gonna pull it by the root anymore. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna give it to the rabbits um, and see if they like it because I like it. I think that they'll like it. <laughs> Since I had my scissors out here, I kind of went ahead and started pruning my tomatoes as well. And I just found a friend. Hello, my frog friend. You're a cute little frog. I hope that you guys are enjoying my foraging type videos for my rabbits because that's mainly what I have this summer, it seems like. But here we have a lot of willow leaves. Willow leaves are really, really great for rabbits. You shouldn't feed too many at once because willow is actually like a natural aspirin. So you don't wanna feed a whole, whole lot at once, but I have like over 30 rabbits, so this is actually not that much. Um, then I have some sunflower stalks and flowers and leaves uh, that fell over during our recent storm. So I cut them up and the rabbits are gonna enjoy them. Then I have all of this purslane here that I'm gonna be giving the rabbits. And I have a bunch of chamomile, which is a very calming herb and very anti-inflammatory. And I also have some carrot tops that I just went ahead and cut off for them. So we're gonna give all of this to some of my rabbits and we're gonna see what they like best. Okay, this could be a complete failure or it could be really fun. And I really wanna have some fun, so. 
I have them laid out. So we have the sunflower, we have the willow leaves, we have the purslane, the chamomile, and the carrot tops. I'm gonna put a rabbit one by one. I'm gonna put them kind of in the middle here and see which one they wanna go for first so I can kind of gauge what everybody's favorites are. And this might be a failure because it might just be like everything. It might just be like whatever they come upon first, but I kind of want to see and we're going to call it their favorites. We're just going to have fun with this video, you guys. Comfort, you're killing me. Hi. Well, you guys, so far, Conifer's been in here for probably 10 minutes. And she's more interested in playing in the pen than eating the good food. So, um,. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if this is just gone. <laughs> like, she just has an interesting personality, but is she gonna do it? Are you gonna eat something? Please? She chose the willow. So Conifer likes the willow. So you guys know that I recently lost Tundra, which was really unfortunate. Well, this is actually her daughter. And she is a gorgeous little doe. Very excited for her. She hasn't chosen her favorite food yet. Well guys, this was unexpected, but I'm just gonna say that Phoenix's favorite food in this tractor right now is the maple leaves, which wasn't really an option, but she just keeps eating them. <laughs> so Phoenix, um, I guess you like the maple leaves. I'm starting to think that I just need to like keep them in their cages and present them with this because I keep putting them in the tractor and all they want to do is like explore so I think I'm gonna try to do it a different way. <laughs> Chevra has chosen the sunflower to be her favorite. <laughs> wow, she really likes that sunflower. Okay, since she's chosen the sunflower, I'm actually gonna give her all of this stuff that's on the board. Other than the whole head of the sunflower, just because it's easy to see, so I'm gonna take that from her for right now anyway. Now we have vanilla, and I have no doubt that vanilla is going to take what she wants, like, immediately. You gotta get out of the way! <laughs> vanilla, get out of the way! <laughs> Alright. 
What are you eating? Oh, Vanilla chose the chamomile. <laughs> yeah, she went for the chamomile like immediately. She knows what she likes. Is that good? Vanilla is a very high strung rabbit. So I think it's funny that she chooses the calming herb. That's all I'm gonna do for now because <laughs> I don't know guys, it was kind of a failure. It was kind of not. Um, I think we got some of their definite favorites like Vanilla. She really, really loved that chamomile. I think several of them have their clear favorites. Um, but most of them were just very distracted. And also my current rabbitry setup, there's not a whole lot of light in there to actually film. There's light in there, they're not in the dark. It's just not a very good like filming situation. I know this was kind of a random video, um, but I really do hope that you enjoyed learning about purslane with me because I had no idea. And so um, maybe it helped you. Maybe you have that growing in your garden or backyard and now you know you can feed it to your rabbits, so that's kind of cool. We've had a very difficult week here. Um, I feel like if you are deciding to move or deciding to change your lifestyle or whatever, that you should just never tell anybody or anything or even speak it out loud because the universe will come and destroy you. <laughs> it's like, it never fails. We went through that one week where we had no power for like three days and all of that crap happened. And uh, would you believe me if I told you that we just went through another 15 hours without power? <laughs> Luckily, there, there was a huge storm and I'm assuming it knocked down a power line somewhere. Um, but we did get power back the next day. Um, there was no heat wave this time though, thank goodness. So with it being without fans and without like the ability to freeze things and all that, uh, we're fine. Nobody even remotely was in distress, uh, so that's really good. It's been one thing after the other, you guys. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's, it's crazy how many things have gone wrong this summer since we are getting ready to leave here. I want to get back to a, a regular schedule of making videos. Uh, I really love the interaction that I'm getting on YouTube really love hanging out with you guys and I really do think that this could be my job. Not just YouTube, but I'm also doing some art related things. I'm doing some class related things. I'm redesigning my entire website, so keep watch for that. And I want to be able to offer things like hatching eggs and really cool stuff. Like there's some really cool stuff to come. It's going to be a lot easier to do all of these things once we move and we won't have a mortgage anymore. I want to be able to just kind of break out and uh, be my own boss like I've always wanted to be and make this thing work and I know I can uh, it's just scary as we are transitioning trying to get there because we do need money right now as it stands because we're getting the shed delivered very very soon and we have to have enough money to convert the shed into a tiny home so uh, there's still a lot <laughs> that needs to be done um, but we want to be moved in within a month um, that would be really, really cool. I would love to be moved in by August. I am just so excited, you guys. I'm so excited for the future. I think it's gonna be so good, but right now I feel like I am paying my dues for all of the stress that I will no longer have, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so um, it's definitely been a stressful situation. Uh, please pray that we can get out of here alive because I feel like Jameson and I are just crawling like on our knees trying to crawl towards our finish line of moving out of here and selling the house and everything. So please pray for us if you pray. That would be very, very helpful. <laughs> But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it because I just needed a little bit of a stress reliever. It's a little bit more fun uh, to make a video like this where I actually get to interact with my rabbits and I love them. You guys know I love them and uh, it's fun to give my breeders a good little exercise, a little mind game or like little test, I guess you could say. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you are subscribed if you're not already subscribed and click the like button because that boosts me in the algorithm and so does commenting on the video. Commenting boosts the algorithm and it tells YouTube that you liked this video and it kind of pushes it out to more people. You can also share my videos on all of your social media and that brings me in front of the eyes of even more people. And also click the bell if you haven't already done that and that will notify you every time I go live or upload a brand new video. I wanna go live soon again to look over the Creme de Argent kits with you guys. They are 
I believe they're coming up on 16 weeks. With that, you guys, I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.